right. Hey, everybody. I'm rolling. Hey, everybody. It's Renee from Me, You, and the Chickens. And here I'm with Angie Hay from Angie Hay Family Adventures. Awesome. We are here together. Of course, I'm here with my husband, Alan. Which I'm going to sit in right now. Yes, she's getting a little rambunctious. <laughs> she just wants love, and that's she all she wants. A lot of attention. She's enjoying <laughs> all this attention. Yeah. So if you don't care for people on my channel, tell us why you started this. Wow. Okay. Wow. The why? The I don't why. even know the why. The why? Uh, actually, well, actually, the pandemic started it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the beginning of the pandemic, we we got scared like everybody else. And then we were like, oh my God, we got to get some chickens. You know, we got to get some ducks. Yeah. Right. And we got the Pekin, and we got our barred rock flock. And um, that's how it all started. So now you breed them, ship yeah. them out. and we, we have, I think it's uh, 12 or 13 different breeds of chickens now. And about nine different breeds of ducks. And of course, as you see, we have Nigerian dwarf goats, and we ship packing eggs all over the U.S. for NPIP and AI testing. Um, yeah, That's we sell awesome. chicks, we sell ducklings. I have a brooder room inside, so I hatch <laughs> babies year round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I got more babies. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oops, surprise! Yeah. I've never seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> And we're starting a, a food forest, of course, so uh, we have quite a few banana trees that are planted. Uh, we also have uh, different uh, citrus trees. We're growing Japanese plum. Uh, we're growing a lot of perennial uh, vegetables throughout our, uh, you know, our garden area, which is slowly uh, coming to life. Uh, but we got a lot of things going on. Yeah, and then we saw you commenting on one of the other videos, the lives, and we were like, oh, they're only in interlocking. Yeah. I, <laughs> you know, I was like, being from West Virginia and stuff, of course, our grow seasons are short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then, so, but I was tickled to death. All, I mean, all I ever did was take a pineapple, break the top off, because I've seen it on YouTube. Yeah. Who figured yeah. it would work, you know? I hear that. And I kept it under a grow light until I could bring it back down here oh. and plant it in Mom's yard. So when we were all in that same chat and um, we were all talking, it's like, you know, I could do this, mm -hmm. even though I'm not here year round. Yeah. You know, fix it up to where, which watering in the summertime, you know, I could probably do. Mm -hmm. But in the wintertime, you know, you get those spurts of rain. And, yeah, yeah. But um, fix me up a little. Okay. Irrigation system and, and and that's one of the reasons why we went with perennial uh, <laughs> vegetables and perennial uh, trees and for perennial garden because they require less maintenance and they keep producing and they come back and keep fruiting year round so they have a much longer lifespan than your annuals. Your annuals are going to require a lot more work and that's why we did we're going perennial. Yeah. Uh, that, that would be perfect because, yeah, I mean, I like to grow my own food, but like just me and my husband, like, you know, two of them, sometimes you can grow more than you can eat. Yeah. Yeah. But to be yeah, able definitely. to bless somebody else exactly. with it. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say. You know, yep. that is, to me, is. And we're growing way more than what we need. But yeah. we also have goats and chickens and geese and ducks and. Whatever they don't eat, I'm sure that we've got neighbors, you know, right, family. Right, right, yeah. So it, it works out. You yeah. know, and it doesn't matter the space you're on. You could grow something, you know. Now, here's here's an off-the-wall question for you, okay? Uh-oh. Because I'm an off-the-wall type that. person. Anybody that knows me will say, you know, she's going to have to have one of those. Um, do you just feed them strictly uh, the pet foods that no. are... No. Okay. Nope. So what I would call rubbish, like you get like lettuces and... Oh yeah, definitely. Things. We save um, all of our scraps from inside. The chickens will eat 
just about anything. <laughs> they eat just about anything. These guys, they like uh, <laughs> carrots and green beans, you know, little baby carrots. Uh -huh. I like those. And green beans, they like fruit bars. Of course, everybody has their own personality and their own taste buds. So, not all of them like the same thing. Right, yeah. Like, I can give a fruit grain bar to her, but Romeo won't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, ew. He's like, ew, that's a girl yeah. thing. I ain't eating healthy. <laughs> so, yeah, they eat a lot of different things. You know, the ducks, they love grapes. Um, my daughter brings home big bags of lettuce from the uh, from the diner that they don't need anymore, yeah, and yeah. I just go around and feed it to everybody, and they all eat it. Yeah, Josh knows where I'm going with this one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, don't take me there, Mama. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know it's crazy, but I like dumpster diving. Oh. You know, just to see what you can find. Uh -huh. I think I just found my dumpster diving party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is like, thank God I don't have to go. <laughs> but, uh, but you see him pulling out, you know, like the, know. the fruits and the vegetables. And, and I'm thinking anybody with a farm could oh, use that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. That was my main reason for wanting to do it. Because, hey, little miss. Because, I mean, all that, all those fruits and vegetables, I mean, oh, they would love it. That's a lot, yeah. You know, they don't care that it was in a dumpster. And it's not like, you know, you're feeding it to your kids or anything. <laughs> right hey, I'm the type A. If it's clean and it's not expired, I mean, you know, I'll take a chance on it. No, times are tough. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> and so for our viewers, this is Angie Hay. Adventures, and she's on YouTube. Yep. Of course, you guys are gonna see it on Facebook. You're gonna see it on Instagram. Some of you guys may see it on TikTok. So go over to YouTube and make sure you're subscribing to her channel. Oh, definitely. Yeah, look up Angie Hay Family Adventures, and you see all my crazy shenanigans. Shenanigans. That's the only way I know to put it. Yeah. We're part I Irish, so we we can get away with saying shenanigans all the time. Yeah. Uh, the first time I went dumpster diving, I had my mom with me, and we just Accidentally drove around back. I pulled up to a dumpster. I'm thinking, What's I'm going to do this. And just as I opened up my car door, a man stood up in that dumpster. I went, Oh, oh my God. Girl. That's not what you wanted to find in there. <laughs> Definitely didn't want to find that in a dumpster. That's not coming home with me, huh? <laughs> Can't fit that in a box. <laughs> By the way, Renee did not find me in the dumpster. I did not. I did not. <laughs> He found her in that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell secrets. <laughs> How do you think we met up? Yeah, now? right. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, that's what I love about this because, you know, where I do a lot of adventuring things or just getting out and exploring things, and you all are doing the homesteading, the farming, and the animals, we're still family. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's all under the big YouTube family umbrella. That's right. That's you right. You know. And that's, that's what right. I learned about the different channels online, you know. And it gives us a reason to meet interesting people. Yeah. But if you talk to people long enough, you'll always find that there's some kind of connection somewhere. There's something in common somewhere. Yeah. You know, even if it's something small. You know, and sometimes I like think that if out in the world, if <laughs> I call it, you know, when I go out people, if other people would just take a minute to interact with somebody. You might find something that you like about Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, okay. it's like YouTube, YouTube gave us a common denominator, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and then it's up to the people like me and like you to reach out to each other That's right. and get to know Make each other. Connection. And then we become friends. Exactly. You know, that's what I always said on my channel. You come in as strangers, mm -hmm. but you will leave as friends. Yeah. Yep. You know. Yep. And that's exactly. the way I treat every one of my, you know, in my lives. Sometimes we'll have topics and sometimes we just visit, yeah. you know, just to catch up with each other and, yeah, you know. Definitely. And what better so. place to visit than you could pet a goat? Exactly. <laughs> I'm in love with the goats. Rick, honey, I'm sorry. You know, I may give in to the chickens if you'll give in to the goats, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And what's really important about us meeting up with Angie is that she's local here with us here in the Putnam County area. And one of our main goals is to strengthen the local 
uh, farmers and community uh, here in Putnam County so mm -hmm. that we are all uh, gaining a presence even online and yeah. together. Yeah. Don't bring your head up too that's fast, okay? One of the things that I told John, hey, hey, that's fine. Down here, I want to, I mean, yeah, everybody can go do the Disney World thing. Anybody can Hi. go do, you know, but it's been done a hundred times. Yeah. Let's, let's build hey. a, a thing on what is local. Yeah. You know, and so we start looking and, and stuff for different things. That there are, there's interesting things right here in Putman County. Oh, there is. And even over that little old town of Interlochen, mm -hmm. you know, we found an animal rescue that has big cats and, oh, wow. you know, and so, yeah, we got to go pet. Hey, hey, I, I kind of need, need those laces. You'll have to tell me and where I'm that thinking, is. And, you know, I think it's right out there in Melrose. Wow. Yeah. And I'm thinking, good God, I'm thinking about having to go down to like Gatorland or something to, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. to do something like this. But it's like, I can do it in my back door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've been down here for years, coming down here for years, never knew it existed. Yeah. You know, and if we hadn't have found each other on YouTube, never we would have never, 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 never even know. You know, yeah. and that's like if I ever do get tickets, I know who to contact. Say <laughs> Your viewers know who to contact now too. Exactly. So if you, if you want to get started, we can ship out hatching eggs anywhere in the continental U.S. Or if you're local, you can come pick them up. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that's and exactly. we do rescues too, so um, we have those coming in periodically. So there may be things that we don't normally have here as well. Yeah, yeah. And and I don't. I'm not one to harp on finances or nothing like that. But now people, they do rescues. You know, if you have a heart and have the means to, go over to their channel, check them out. And if there's somewhere you can donate, I mean, do it because they do the rescues. It takes a lot to feed these animals. It does. And to it build does. the pens yeah. and stuff like that. So if you get a chance, go see them, check them out, donate if you can. If not, just like, subscribe comment on their channel and watch their videos even the com even when you watch the ads hopefully later on you know they'll get to be monetized hopefully you know yes, hopefully and the more we watch and comment the more YouTube will push it out yep and that will help their channel grow and get it circling in that algorithm yep got to work that algorithm it's like, oh my God, numbers, math, I never thought I'd have to do all that stuff again. But the main thing is, if you can support them, Please you're do. helping animals. You're helping God's creatures that depend on us that for their, for their livelihood. And there is no better way of thinking of these animals except they're the eternal babies. Yes. They're constantly going to need you. Yep. So. That they do. Yeah. Like the baby tugging on my leg here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so guys. <He's> very needy. <laughs> I, I appreciate um, y'all letting me come out here. Oh, we appreciate you coming. And play with the animals. I mean, it's just like, it's been so peaceful. And I have been just sitting over here on a log, petting the goats. Yep. You know? Yep. And we don't and, mind. We invite people to come out. And I've been loving the chickens. Lord, I never realized how many different chickens. Yeah. And it's like, okay, if you had to tell me to pick one, there she would just simply say yes. Yeah. One of everything. Yeah, because they're they're all beautiful, mm -hmm. and they have their own personalities. They do. You know. So I thank you all again for letting us come out here. Total strangers. They invited to their house. Yeah. You know. That's what YouTube families are. Yep. Yeah. You know, We're and I thank you, you all for coming along on this adventure with us. And I love each and every one of you. Did you know that? And I advise you all to go out, find your adventures, and make the best of your day, guys. I love you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, bye.